24 years of age. She's been in fantastic form on the Women's World Cup Tour, coming into these championships with a win in Aspen and a win in the parallel event in Munich. Can she now take the lead away? from Maria Reese, there's the first mistake almost at the same point as Reese. lost a little time but recovers with lightning speed yeah. and efficiency brilliant recovery and look what has gained her three tenths now the lead she had a, only one on oh. at the top but she's tangled up just as she gets hooked in those cross ruts the next couple of gates are very bumpy but she's looking very solid on her feet this is a very aggressive ski from the Swedes oh and the goodness. reward is there 0.94 she's flying absolute commitment the upper body calm and still and the skis carving from edge to edge acceleration with every turn she's going to take the lead by a massive margin almost seven tenths of a second ahead of maria reese there will be no goals for germany in the women's slalom here today and that run will take some beating oh i think so she was very very quick until that little mistake in the middle of the pitch but as you said nick she recovered like lightning i hope we get to see that again in the slow-mo well, Marie knows it's special. Big push in the start there, showing full commitment, as we said. Beautiful execution in these turns. Just a little float between each turn. And picking the line very direct in these hairpins. Taking all the risks she needed to. Oh, what a magnificent performance from the young Swede. Now, is that good enough for gold? Katrin Vettel for the Austrian team, next to go, then Putiainen, and Schilt last of all. Go. Well, she may be one of the smallest athletes on the Women's World Cup Tour, but she is full of fire when she comes out of that starting gate, and Vettel immediately settles into the rhythm and starts driving from turn to turn. No sign of nerves, full commitment the moment she leaves the gate yeah a little late though coming on to the steep there from the banana gate she's got the clean line back now and she said nick she's so quick there it was there through the hairpin just lightning and keeps the green light on seven hundreds to the goods 12 from the giant slalom was uh, disappointing for Catherine. she said watch me in the slalom i'll make amends for it there that's exactly what she told the press and her fans this is the key split now and she's still with the green light 0.17 of a second the advantage that zettel carries forward into this last technical section of this slalom track she can hear the crowd now she can see the line austria go up against sweden and Catherine zettel takes the lead oh, 0.31 a brilliant performance Oh, yes! That was amazing. Real battling stuff. You know, it, it is getting difficult out there, but it shows that our charge is still possible. That really was a good run from Zettel. Fighting for every turn, every bit of acceleration. Wonderfully light and quick dynamic in the turn and on the skis. Um, that's got to be the best run of her life. Yeah, I, I, I think most importantly, Nick, this is going to be a huge confidence boost for Marley Shield because she'll know that her teammates been able to put down a real stormer of a run, so it's just up to her to do exactly the same. Well, the big bosses of the Austrian ski team, <laughs> Hans Pum and Schuck Snadler, they're absolutely delighted, as is Catherine Zettel. Great execution, marvellous ski. She knows it. Now, she just has to, wa has to watch two skiers to see whether that is a gold medal winning performance, silver or bronze. The flying fin, Tanya Putiainen, powers out of the gate. She has won bronze in World Championship slaloms. She's won silver in the World Championships of slalom. Never the gold. Now at 30 years of age, one of the most consistent skiers on the Women's World Cup Tour. It's not been since 2006 that she's come out of a major international competition, made an error, and has the green light. That consistency, that solid technique, puts the fin in top position. Needs to keep it clean down here because remember Zeta was very very quick but has actually lost two tenths on the top part she's a little bit late here getting forced into the back seat but now really going for it as she comes to this all-important flush that was oh, straddle from Pugiainen she may continue 
but that's a disqualification surely John yeah it doesn't really matter she's out of the medals with that mistake that's uh, it doesn't matter if she gets disqualified or not look at that 1.52 oh. oh what a shame for Tanya oh Tanya that was a goal surely she got the advantage she got the green she just a millimeter the wrong side of the gate the straddle gets whipped in and Pooty Island's gold dreams, gold medal dreams are over. Here we see again in slow motion. Yeah, she didn't actually startle, but her feet hooked up. The inside ski got too much pressure on it. It bit too hard in the softening snow. Watch again. The ski picks her up. Oh, yeah. No, the force goes up through the legs, pitches her into the air. She did well to stay on her feet, but what a shame. Her chances have gone. Zettel leads for the Austrian team. Pietri Holmer, second. Maria Riesch, third. But there's one race that left to challenge. Oh, putting on a brave face there, but what a disappointment for Putiani. She was skiing so well there. Marlies Schilt. The Olympic silver medal in Vancouver this time last year. Behind Maria Riesch. Looking to turn the tables here right now with Riesch in bronze medal spot and her teammate Zettel topping the table. Zettel's nicely, very aggressive. She's charging on the top section this time, John. Really athletic. A lot of power on the turn. You can see the track that she's leaving. Pencil marks in the snow cutting in very efficiently indeed. Now she's just got to watch as he comes off the steep onto the flat as the snow condition changes from icy juddery turns to soft snow with a little more feeling on the turning ski. She's passed the difficult cross rut and uh, now she still has the green light. Half the advantage is gone but look at the look of determination on the face of Marley Shill. Now she moves it up a gear once again on the flatter part. 146.13, surely Shill has got the goal. She's done it. It's an Austria 1-2 in the women's slalom, but the gold medal has finally gone to Marley Schilt. Well, she's taken the silver in the Olympics, the silver in the 2007 and 2003 Worlds, and all that hard work, she's finally got the gold, John. Absorbing all of the pressure, putting down a magical performance.